Welcome to the projector tool training. In this video, I want to talk with you about visibility, what it is and how you can use it. So visibility, as the name suggests, has to do with making objects visible or invisible. Um, we already have um, visibility variables um, integrated in every project. So whenever you create a new project, you have 64 different uh, visibility variables numbered from 0 to 63. And um, the first thing to uh, use them is to give them internal names. To do that, um, you right click on your project name and then click on properties. And then you go to the category visibility. Here you have a list of uh, numbers from 0 to 63 according to the visib visibility variables. And to be able to use the visibility variables, you have to give them an um, assigned name or an internal name. Let me uh, do this like this. Um, and you not only have to give the variables a name, but also the single bits of those variables. So you have to click select the name here and then click on modify bit names. And then um, I will just uh, do it like this. And this gives you the ability now as in this example to use the visibility 01 variable and from that the first four bits. Okay. Um, let me create a new page so I can play around a little bit. Um, let's say we have some objects here like that. Yeah, maybe like this. Okay, and we want to be able to control if these objects can be seen or not um, during, during runtime. What we do is we select an object go to the properties and first we enable the visibility. Normally by default, if you don't do that, of course, every object is visible. That's clear. So to be able to make it invisible, you have to check the uh, visibility property and only then you can assign this object a visibility bit. Um, you click on the button with the three dots right here and it opens up a dialog where you first um, select which visibility variable you want to use to make this uh, object visible or, or invisible. I will use my test um, variable that I created and now I can select the four bits that I have given names 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, in the project properties. So let me use this bit here. Now OK. So you can see now the visibility bit 1 from the uh, visibility 01 variable is assigned to this object, which means um, if this bit of this variable is 1, the object is visible. And if it is 0, it is invisible. And let's go right ahead and use another one. Now I will use the second bit. You can, of course, use the same visibility bit for several uh, objects. That is no problem. Um, I will use the second bit for this one and the third one for this. Okay, so um, what's important to understand is that you um, normally want to control the visibility for these objects separately but they now are, are all in the same visibility variable. So if you modify this variable, you have to keep in mind uh, that you're always changing the visibility for all of the objects. That's why my recommendation is, um, since you have 64 different visibility variables, to only use the first bit, the bit zero of the, of the variable in the beginning. So only use this one because then the world is very easy. You have, uh, you set this variable to zero and the object is invisible and you set it to one and it's visible. 
if you have a constellation like this with several variables, things get a little bit more complicated. Let me show you. I have um, a little example project here. Um, I have set up the first visibility variable. You've probably already seen it. And um, I have assigned the first five bits to these five objects. Okay, so let's give this a little whirl. Um, now, currently, the variable value of the first visibility variable is zero, which means all of the, the objects are invisible. Now I'm increasing this value to one. I show you, I show you here uh, the bit value for the first five bits. So since the variable is one, the first bit will be set to one, which makes the first object uh, visible. If I increase it to two, now this object is invisible again, and this one is visible. Why? Because now two in binary is one zero. So the second bit of this variable is set to one, which makes the second uh, object visible. So now when I increase it one more time, um, the, the visibility variable value is three. Three in binary is one one which means the first two objects are visible. So now you know how this uh, goes on. Let me turn on the auto mode. Um, and you can see, depending on the value, more and more objects will be visible. Or again, invisible if the lower bits um, uh, are set to zero again. So for this first bit, as you see, it will basically always switch between visible and invisible. Now, why is that a problem? Um, you cannot access the, the bits of the variable, of the visibility variables independently. You always change the visibility by changing the variable value. So let's say you have this combination, and now you want to make this object visible as well. From the current value, 37, is that even true? Ah, oh, yes, it is true. See, this is already a problem. Um, only the first bit is visible, but we are at value uh, 33, because bit 6 would now have a 1. Since we're not using it, uh, uh, we have the same behavior for 33 as we have for value number 1. Okay, so I was saying, let's say we have this constellation, and now we want to make this object visible as well. And from the visibility va uh, value five, there is no indication on, on what what the value should be to make this uh, uh, um, object visible as well. Of course, you can do it with some binary calculation and you will get uh, to the solution that it has to be uh, this value. So you have to set it to 21, but um, it is not something uh, uh, that is that is really very easy to understand. Um, with 64 visibility variables, each one has 16 bits, you have one K, so 1024 uh, independent uh, visibility switches. Um, in a normal project, you will most often only use a handful uh, uh, of, of visibility switches. So once again, my suggestion is um, only use bit zero because then you only need to set the variable to zero to make the object invisible and to one to make it visible again. If you uh, really have a project with a lot of visibility and you, you realize that only later, you can still start maybe if the visibility, if you're at visibility variable 50 um, to start using one of some of the other bits. Um, but until then, make it easy for you, only use bit zero and switch between uh, visible and invisible invisible by just setting it to zero and one. Um, I, will, I don't have to explain why you need the visibility. I think it explains itself because you want to have dynamic projects. You want to maybe hide some things for certain users or you want to have a simple default view and then on a button press, you want to display more things. So visibility is a very great tool um, to make projects more dynamic. 
and be sure to use it and once again my suggestion use it in the simplest way possible and avoid having to make some uh, crazy bit operations in your variable thank you for watching